Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we will be singing in the rain with a fun little mono blue deck. We were told it's aggro control, so we'll see what mid-range deck this will be. <laughs> yeah. But before we do, I'm going to remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us, and we greatly appreciate it. And the link will be down below. Uh, today, like I said, our champion is Jamal, uh, a cryptic caster. So what he does is place one counter on each card water unit that comes into play on your field, simple. And then remove three counters from this card, draw two cards, then discard one. He's just a really great filter. Yeah, he, he's really good at just getting you just to keep going through the game because the more dudes you play, the more counters you get. Yeah, it's amazing. And then our spirit, of course, is Tux, the Empire spirit. Uh, when you unit you control, sorry, you control destroys a tower, you may draw a card, then discard a card. And then that's just more filtering. And then the Soul Burst, if you need it, you pay three. Uh, Soul Burst, which flips us around. It's done all your units, your opponent's controls, which means they can't do anything until your next turn. Yeah. Which is pretty, pretty strong. It's pretty nice. All right, the first guy of the deck is Rex, the Child of Brilliance. He has a one drop 1,000, and if you would use Shard Drain for an ability, you can sacrifice this dude instead of returning a Shard to the Shard deck. So you're just like, cool, kill this dude, get it. Done. Ruler of the Twisting Waters. It's a one drop 500. Uh, I think this art looks amazing, but mm -hmm. uh, arrive. Target a water spell in your discard zone. This turn, you may play that uh, card from the discard zone, and if you do, expel it. So it's a very powerful thing to dig into your graveyard, such with spells. And most blue ones are cheap, so you're able to play this and then just wreck someone else's life with yeah, it. Yeah, and play the spell again. And it says until in a turn, so you can play this first, do things, maybe they'll forget about it while they try to kill your dude, and then you just pop it off. Uh, next is the Pingardian Mystic. It is a two drop 1,000, and you can pay one, sacrifice it to stun target dude. Yep. It's just to help you when you need it, because this dude can kill towers and then he can stun a dude. Yep, exactly. This one, Ella Master Coral. It's a two drop, 1500. This card gains five, plus 500 when your opponent has a destroyed water tower. And then Exhaust, if you control a water unit, switch control the target, uh, this card and target unit your opponent controls, which is amazing. Yeah, anything like this is always really good, because you're like, cool. I want your six or I want your five thousand. Here's fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Exactly. And it's only sad if they play a water one because I do believe they they can do it too. Yeah. But it, it's okay. Just take their best card. Yeah. Pretty much. Next is the Great Stormfish. She has a three drop fifteen hundred with arrive. You exhaust target unit, and then ruined your turn target unit to the top of its owner's deck. So this dude helps you control the board however you need to because you're like, cool, tap that dude, and when it dies, you bounce it. Dude. It's yeah, pretty good. Both always, ways are strong. Yeah, I always thought this guy from the very first playing Arjun Saga, this, this guy was awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Pinagobi Jonin Mashikushi. No, I totally messed up that last one. <laughs> Anyways, four drop, 2000, instant cast. Whenever this card declares an attack, you may stun a target unit, which is super good. And whenever a unit becomes stunned, you may draw a card. Just, yeah, he, it's amazing all around. Yeah, he helps you stop their dudes and you get free card draw. It's pretty good. Moshizuki, there we go. Uh, next is Kumakori, the Pingardian Tutelary. He is a 5 drop 3500 with Guardian Arrive. Whenever Arrive or whenever a water unit you control is targeted by an opponent's spell or ability, you may choose one of. Draw a card, stun a unit, destroy a target, stun dude. Yep. So, target my dudes, I'm gonna kill your dudes, or I'm gonna yeah. draw cards, or just get free value. It's just good. Yeah. Now, I, I don't know why we never talked about <clears throat> this, but Tutelary is someone who like teaches, right? I think? Question mark? So why does this? Why is he so mean? And does it have a book in his hands? He's a giant bear. Yeah, and he's teaching these penguins how to massacre. Yeah. <laughs> Next one is Hana, Princess of Mayu. I drop twenty five hundred. Arrive. Put target unit with total two or less from your discard zone into play. Simple as that. So all your other small dudes come to back, especially if you like sacrifice Rex from Soul Burst and you get him again. It's pretty good. Uh, next is the Arctic Arbiter. It is a six drop, four thousand. As an additional cost to play this card, you may exhaust any number of water units you control. This costs one less for each one. Uh, units you control gain unblockable, and then you ignore the effects of your opponent's blue tower. So not they don't too, get to draw cards. Yeah, not too bad. The next up, of course, is Mayu, Grand Sorcerer. She's back. Six drop, thirty-five hundred. She's legendary. All right, return target spell in your discard zone to your hand. If you do, the next spell you play this turn costs zero. So it doesn't even have to be the spell you return, you can just play any spell for free. 
And then once per turn, you can play this card with Shard Drain or use Shard Drain, return target another unit to the top of its owner's deck. If she survives one round, the other player loses pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty hard to get out of this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next is Ancient Serpent's Breath. It is a one drop insta cast spell. As additional cost to play this card, you can Shard Drain one if you do return target unit to the top of its owner's deck. And its normal ability is return a unit two or less to its owner's hand, then its owner draws a card. It's classic. So it's a really good control spell. Yeah. Just bounce two dudes. Extremely. Phantasmal Guards, <laughs> of course, another classic uh, one drop spell. Put two illusion tokens, they are 500s, and they have Guardian. They can't attack, but that's that's what you don't need them for. Yeah. Uh, Omega Magic Mizu, it is a two drop insta cast spell. You choose one or choose two if you have two towers or less remaining. Draw a card, exhaust target dude, return target exhausted dude. So you can just do whatever you need, whether you need to draw cards and tap a dude or whatever. Yeah, tap a dude, bounce them, it's all good. Tidal Rush, insta cast, three drop. As an additional cost to play the spell, you may shard raid one. If you do return target unit to its owner's hand, and then it's normal spell as you return a target unit to its owner's hand. So you can just bounce two dudes and you draw a card. Yeah. Pretty good. Uh, next is Cryptic Deflection. It is a three drop insta cast spell. If your champion is Jamal, you can cast this, you can remove four counters from that card instead of paying this cost. Target unit cannot be targeted by spells or abilities this turn. So if you've just stacked counters on Jamal and you haven't used them, you can be like, cool, remove these counters, don't target my dude. Yeah, especially when you play May you turn six, they try to kill, then you're like, no. Don't yeah. target. You plan for that. And the last spell is uh, Shards of Winter. It is a four drop insta cast, exhaust all units your opponent controls, which is very powerful. And the fact that with the other lady, the one drop one, you could play this again late game mm -hmm. to, you know, hopefully win the game at that point. And it's insta cast. That's what's the best part about it. Yeah. And then, of course, that's it for this deck. And we have the shards, which, of course, we have to have the Spirit Ruby. It's legendary. Exhaust, flip your spare face down, destroy target unit. Simple as that. Cryptic Crystal is the blue special one. It's really, I think it's the best one. Well, maybe the red one with the certain dragons, but arrive, look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them back in, uh, put them back in any order. So yeah. you know your draw step. You get to set your deck how you want it. Yep, and the rest are Argent shards. Simple as that. Now with that, uh, we don't have sidebar, but we do have honorable mentions. And since these are both five drops and we already are heavy on five drops, you can pick or choose. But this one is Hana Reformed Apprentice. It's 2,500, arrive, put it into play, water token that's a 500, it has a root, a uh, return target unit to its owner's hand. So it's okay. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It helps you get more dudes that bounce dudes, so it helps you control the board a little bit, but yeah. it's, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, next up is the Demi Leviathan. It's a five drop 2,500 with Guardian. Arrive, you may flip any number of your face down towers face up. If you do take control of any number of target units or whose combined cost is equal to the number of towers you flipped up. So if you flip up three, you can control a three drop. Yep. Or, if you, or you can take control of three one drops. However you want to do it. Yeah, so I almost, well, I guess if they have tokens and you don't need to flip any and then you can take all their zeros, mm -hmm. all of them, probably. So I don't know. Well. This dude seems really dangerous, but he seems really good. Very dangerous and extremely not playable late game yeah. as well. So yeah, the only reason this dude is dangerous is because it gives your opponent knowledge. Like you don't have the uh, safety net of them hopefully hitting a red tower. Yeah, exactly. They get to know where it is, so they get to plan how they get to do it. So very, very dangerous for sure. Oh, uh, with that, that is the deck singing in the rain. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and the list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.